Hey everybody, AmpReparagraph.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Kenwood TL 922 a Needs the 10 meter mod done. Oops, there are 15 meters. Needs all the other modifications done. Needs a new set of tubes. Had an old Chinese tube with a brown base and also an old uh, iMac tube. So plate current meter is good. Filament transformer is okay. Filter caps or plate supply are okay. So meter lamps work. So I'm going to go through it, do everything, and then I'll show you the video after when everything's all done. So I'll be back. Stay tuned. So I'm back with the completed Kenwood TL922A. Now has 10 meters. Fully tested on all bands. Works as it should. A brand new set of Pentalab tubes. I'll show you everything I did real quick. So I obviously did the 10 meter mod as I told you before. Out of the strap. Reconfigured the input circuit, took out the detent screw that limited the band switch from going to that last position. Added the strap over here. Added the series glitch resistor. Zip tied the wiring. Zip tied the wiring over here. Added the meter protection diode. Plates for the boat for both of the air variable capacitors are in nice clean condition. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so I grounded the grids, did the self bias modification, changed the electrolytic cap, cleaned the band switch and the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Clean both these switches, the standby operate and the multimeter switch with deoxy gold. Added the strap over here, tightened up on hardware. So someone was in this before. I don't know if they changed the transformers or if they were trying to diagnose it. It came in with a with an open fuse, had uh, mismatched set of tubes in it like I said before I didn't bother high potting them but so I don't know if they changed them or if they were diagnosing it like I said I, I don't know so you could tell the solder joints have been messed with actually resoldered this wire and I zip tied it but you could you could tell this is not original and there were a couple extra wires a couple orange Stubs hanging off the, the relay back here. I also clean the contacts on this relay with the oxy cold. I always I do I always do that also. So I got rid of those two stubs. I so I don't know if they changed the relay. I don't know. I don't know the history, but it's all set now, and the SO two thirty nines are good. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is two zero three. 892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. 73.